What happens to your body when you completely stop having sex after 60? Does it matter? Are there health consequences? Or is it perfectly fine to just accept that this chapter of life is over? The science might shock you, because what researchers have discovered about sexual activity, health, and longevity challenges everything we've been told about aging. Today, I'm sharing the research that reveals what actually happens physically, mentally, and emotionally when men stop being sexually active after 60. Hit that like button right now and drop a comment telling me where you're watching from, because what I'm about to share could change how you think about health and vitality in your later years. Here's what most men don't understand. Sexual activity isn't just about pleasure or relationships. It's actually connected to cardiovascular health, hormone production, immune function, mental health, and even mortality risk. I'm Dr. Narita, and I've spent 12 years as a urologist studying the connections between sexual health and overall well-being. And the research is clear. Regular sexual activity, whether with a partner or solo, provides measurable health benefits that extend well beyond the bedroom. The biggest myth is that sex is just recreational and stopping has no health implications. That's not what the science shows. Multiple large-scale studies have found associations between sexual frequency and cardiovascular health, prostate health, immune function, mental health, and cognitive function. Overall mortality risk. Now, before we go further, let me be very clear. This isn't about pressure or performance. This isn't about judging anyone's choices. And it's not saying that people who aren't sexually active are doomed to poor health. What I'm sharing today is the science showing that sexual activity provides health benefits and that maintaining some level of activity in whatever form works for you supports your overall well-being. Let's look at what actually happens when sexual activity stops completely. In my 12 years of practice, I've reviewed the research, counseled thousands of patients, and seen how maintaining sexual health contributes to overall vitality and quality of life in older men. So here's what we're doing today. I'm walking you through five specific areas where research shows sexual activity has measurable health effects, explaining the biological mechanisms, and giving you practical guidance on what this means for your health decisions. And if you stick with me until the end, I'm addressing the most important question. What if you don't have a partner or physical function is difficult? I'll show you what the research says about alternatives and adaptations. Now let me walk you through five specific health areas affected by sexual activity or the lack of it. And if you're serious about understanding how to optimize your health and longevity, hit that subscribe button now because this is information you need. Number five, cardiovascular health and mortality risk. This is perhaps the most surprising finding. Multiple studies show that sexual frequency is associated with cardiovascular health and even mortality risk. A landmark study published in the American Journal of Cardiology followed men for decades and found that men who had sex two or more times per week had significantly lower risk of fatal heart attacks compared to men who had sex less than once per month. Another study published in the Journal of Epidemiology found that men who remained sexually active into their 70s and 80s had lower all-cause mortality rates. Here's the biology. Sexual activity is cardiovascular exercise. It increases heart rate, improves circulation, and supports vascular health. Regular sexual activity keeps your cardiovascular system engaged and responsive. Additionally, sexual activity releases hormones like oxytocin and endorphins that reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and support heart health. Emotionally, the connection between sexual vitality and life vitality is profound. Feeling vital in one area supports feeling vital overall. Practically, this doesn't mean you need to have sex daily, but maintaining some regular level of activity, whether with a partner or solo, provides cardiovascular benefits. Research suggests one to two times per week provides measurable benefit. The key takeaway, sexual activity supports cardiovascular health and is associated with lower mortality risk. Number four, testosterone levels and hormonal health. Sexual activity, and specifically orgasm and ejaculation, is connected to testosterone regulation. Here's the biology. Regular sexual activity maintains hormonal feedback loops. When you remain sexually active, your body receives signals that these systems need to remain functional, which supports ongoing testosterone production. Conversely, complete sexual inactivity can contribute to declining testosterone through reduced hormonal signaling. Studies show that men who maintain regular sexual activity tend to have higher testosterone levels than completely inactive men of the same age. But there's nuance here. 
the relationship between sex and testosterone is bidirectional. Low testosterone reduces sexual desire and function, but low sexual activity can also contribute to further testosterone decline. It's a feedback loop that can go either direction. Activity supports hormones, which supports activity, or inactivity contributes to hormonal decline, which leads to more inactivity. Emotionally, testosterone affects energy, mood, motivation, and overall sense of vitality. Supporting testosterone through regular activity supports overall well-being. Practically, maintaining regular sexual activity, even solo activity, supports hormonal health and helps maintain testosterone levels. The key takeaway. Regular sexual activity supports healthy testosterone levels through hormonal feedback mechanisms. Number three, prostate health. We've discussed this in previous videos, but it's worth repeating. Regular ejaculation is associated with lower prostate cancer risk. Multiple large-scale studies, including research published in JAMA and European Urology, consistently show that men who ejaculate more frequently, 21 plus times per month, have significantly lower rates of prostate cancer. The biological mechanism, ejaculation flushes the prostate of potentially carcinogenic substances, reduces congestion, and maintains healthy prostate function. When men stop all sexual activity completely, this protective flushing mechanism stops. Now, this doesn't mean that stopping sexual activity causes prostate cancer. Many factors influence cancer risk. But it does mean that regular activity provides a protective benefit. Emotionally, knowing that activity supports prostate health can provide motivation to stay engaged. Practically, this applies to both partnered activity and solo activity. The health benefit comes from the ejaculation itself, not the context. Research suggests that two to three times per week provides meaningful prostate health benefit. The key takeaway, regular ejaculation reduces prostate cancer risk and supports prostate health. Number two, mental health and cognitive function. Sexual activity has measurable effects on mental health, mood, and even cognitive function. Here's the biology. Sexual activity releases multiple neurochemicals, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins that improve mood, reduce anxiety and depression, support bonding, and even enhance cognitive function. Studies show that sexually active older adults report lower rates of depression, better cognitive function, higher life satisfaction, better overall mental health. One study published in the Journals of Gerontology found that older adults who remained sexually active performed better on cognitive tests than those who were inactive. The biological mechanism likely involves the neurochemical release, improved circulation to the brain, reduced stress hormones, and the psychological benefits of feeling vital and connected. Emotionally, sexual activity reinforces the feeling that you're still engaged in life, still capable, still vital. Complete withdrawal can contribute to feelings of decline, obsolescence, or giving up. Practically, maintaining sexual activity in whatever form works for you supports mental health and may even protect cognitive function. The key takeaway, sexual activity supports mental health mood, and possibly cognitive function through neurochemical and psychological mechanisms. Number one, physical function and tissue health. Use it or lose it. We've discussed this before, but it's the most direct physical consequence. Complete sexual inactivity can lead to changes in tissue health that make future function more difficult. Here's the biology. Regular erections, whether during sex, solo activity, or nocturnal erections during sleep, deliver oxygen-rich blood to penile tissues. This oxygenation maintains smooth muscle health and prevents fibrosis, tissue becoming less elastic. When men stop all sexual activity completely, and especially if nocturnal erections are also absent due to poor sleep, medications, or other factors, tissue oxygenation decreases. Over time, this can lead to loss of tissue elasticity, slight reduction in size, more difficulty achieving function when you do want to try. Studies using ultrasound to measure penile tissue show measurable changes in men who are completely inactive for extended periods. This doesn't mean function is permanently lost, it means restoration requires more effort. Often, medication, vacuum devices, or other interventions become necessary to restore blood flow and tissue health. Emotionally, the use it or lose it principle creates anxiety, but understanding it helps motivate maintenance. Practically, regular activity two to three times per week, 
whether with a partner or solo, maintains tissue oxygenation and preserves function. If partnered activity isn't available, solo activity provides the same tissue health benefits. The key takeaway, regular activity maintains tissue health through oxygenation. Complete inactivity can lead to tissue changes that make restoration more difficult. Now, the most important question, what if you don't have a partner? Or what if physical function is difficult? Here's the critical information. The health benefits we've discussed apply to both partnered activity and solo activity. Research shows that the cardiovascular benefits, hormonal benefits, prostate benefits, and tissue maintenance benefits occur regardless of whether activity is partnered or solo. Your body doesn't distinguish. The biological mechanisms are the same. If you don't have a partner, solo activity two to three times per week provides the same health benefits. If physical function is difficult, there are options. Medications, sildenafil, tadalafil can support function. Vacuum devices can help achieve and maintain function. Working with a doctor to optimize cardiovascular health, hormones, and medications can improve baseline function. The key is not giving up completely. Even if function isn't perfect, maintaining some level of activity with support if needed provides health benefits. I've had patients in their 70s and 80s who maintain regular solo activity specifically for health maintenance, even without a partner. They understand that it's not just about pleasure, it's about maintaining vitality, hormone health, and tissue function. The key takeaway, you don't need a partner to receive health benefits. Solo activity provides the same biological advantages. Now, let me be clear about what this research does not mean. It does not mean that people who aren't sexually active will definitely have poor health. Many factors influence health, and sexual activity is just one piece. It does not mean you should feel pressured to be sexually active if you genuinely don't want to be. Quality of life includes autonomy and choice. What it does mean is that sexual activity provides measurable health benefits, and if you're able and willing to maintain some level of activity, it supports your overall well-being. The decision is yours, but you deserve to have complete information to make that decision. Here's your action plan. If you're currently sexually active, continue. Aim for two to three times per week for optimal health benefit. If you've become inactive and want to resume, address underlying health issues, cardiovascular, hormonal, medications. Consider medical support if function is difficult medication, devices, counseling. Start gradually without pressure. Remember, solo activity provides the same health benefits as partnered activity. If you're inactive and comfortable with that, that's your choice. Just understand the research so you're making an informed decision. Regardless of your choice, prioritize overall health, cardiovascular fitness, hormone optimization, mental health, sleep quality. I need you to understand, this information isn't about pressure or judgment. It's about empowerment through knowledge. If you've withdrawn from sexual activity because you thought it didn't matter, now you know it does have health implications. If you've withdrawn because of physical challenges, now you know there are solutions and alternatives worth exploring. And if you've withdrawn by choice, that's absolutely your right. But make that choice with full information. You deserve to feel vital, healthy, and engaged in life. And maintaining sexual health in whatever form works for you is part of comprehensive wellness. Hit that like button if this video gave you information you didn't have before about the connection between sexual activity and overall health. Share it with another man who needs to know that staying sexually active in whatever form works supports long-term health and vitality. Subscribe to this channel. I'm here to give you science-based information that empowers informed decisions about your health. And remember, the research is clear. Regular sexual activity supports cardiovascular health, hormonal health, prostate health, mental health, and tissue maintenance. You don't need a partner. You don't need perfect function. You just need consistency and willingness to prioritize this aspect of your health. Aging doesn't mean giving up. It means staying engaged in all aspects of health, including sexual health. You're worth the effort. Stay vital, stay engaged. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself, you matter.